Okay, everyone, welcome to day three of the Monetize Your Business five-day challenge with myself, Dr. Adil Rafiz. I'm so glad that you are here and I'm so pleased to be hearing um, some amazing success stories already uh, two days into it. So today is our third day and it's a really nice exercise that we do on day three. It is an energetic pull to invite more money into your life and into your business. And today's energy pull is going to be all about allowing that money to be pulled into you and your realm of what's possible and in, into your energetic field. And at that same time, raising your vibration, raising the vibration of your molecules, raising the vibration of who you are and what you know and how you create to be in alignment, to be an energetic match with that money. Because what will happen is when, when we start or when you're in a funk with money or when you start a business or whatever stage of running your life and running your business you are in, when money is scarce, your vibration drops because you go inevitably into those places where you start using your mind and you think and you worry and you wonder where that next amount of money is coming from. Um, what it's going to take to get there, how impossible it may seem, or how stressed you are. Those are the things that you function, uh, sorry, that's where you function from, and those are the things that you focus on. Now, even just as I talk about those things, notice how that feels. Notice how that feels in your body. Notice how that feels in your vibrational field. Notice how contracted that may make you in your body, but also when it come, when I say to you, think about the greatest thing you possibly can, uh, it's hard to get to that place. It's hard to think about um, really immense and wonderful and magnificent amounts of money and possibility coming to you when you're worried and when you're stressed and when you're in your little bubble. So yesterday, we talked about unhiding and not retreating. And if you haven't watched that, that's a great exercise to do. And then this one is a perfect follow-on because then once you come out of retreat once you are here and you're standing grounded in what you're doing the next thing you want to do is be in vibrational alignment with the highest possible good with the highest possible um, possibilities when it comes to inviting money and creating larger amounts of money than you might have thought that you were going to create so today what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the exercise which is an energy pull and at the same time I'm going to be asking you to raise the vibration of your molecules and meet at this place where you are in this reciprocity of giving and receiving with all of the molecules around you but that help you be a vibrational match and vibrational alignment with money. Okay, so wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you can do this in whatever way makes you feel comfortable. Some people might want to close their eyes, some people might want to sit down, some people might want to lie down, you might want to um, do this like a meditation. Whatever works for you is great. As long as it feels congruent for you, as long as it feels good to you, uh, do that. Obviously, if you are driving and you're watching um, or listening to a replay, please don't close your eyes. Okay. Now, uh, for those of you, so for all of you that are doing this challenge, you should have your figures, right? So you've got your daily figure and you've got your weekly figure. I think it would be a really cool thing to actually use that figure for this exercise to really help you create a tangible outcome and help you re recognize and realize how you can use this exercise going forward with whatever it is that you wish to create. It doesn't have to be money, but for the purpose of this challenge, we are really focused on inviting more money and having more money so we're going to use that figure that you have been working with okay so think about that figure that you are inviting into your life daily right now that is over and above what you would normally make and I want you to just relax take a nice deep breath in breathe all the way out and again take a nice deep breath in 
And this time, as you breathe out, not only do you relax and you expand in your body, but also expand energetically to occupy as much space as you can. When you're worried or stressed about something, you become small and you also make your being contracted and small. When you are not small, you are not a small being, you are this magnificent being that energetically can occupy a large amount of space. And the more space that you occupy, the more molecules you can interact with with ease, and the more molecules you can dance with and invite into your life, including the molecules of money. The other thing with being expanded is you have a greater sense of who you are and what is actually possible for you as opposed to thinking that you are small, thinking that you are one person in a sea of people and it's you against your problems, you against the solidity of trying to outcreate when you don't really know how to or you don't believe you can. But when you expand out and remember who you are and remember how big you are, it becomes easier for you to have some perspective. Have the perspective of you being the being that you are, you being the infinite being, the being that is connected to source and that can raise their vibration and match the vibration of whatever it is that they are asking for. And that is how ask and receive works. That is how attraction works. That is how manifestation works. That is how working with the consciousness and all of the molecules in the world works. And that is what this exercise is all about. So now that you are expanded, and just for the next few minutes, just for the next 10, 15 minutes, Forget about your mind. Don't worry about your mind. Don't worry about what you think you know and what you think you believe and how you think the world works. And just be willing to allow the information that is coming to you to come to you and allow the money that is coming to you to come to you and allow the energetic information that is coming to you to come to you and to receive it, okay? So just take a nice deep breath in. Breathe out, expand, expand, expand. And think about that figure, think about that amount of money that you are inviting into your life daily right now. And you don't have to know where it's coming from. You don't have to know where it's hiding. You don't have to think very hard about what you have to do to make that money or receive that money. Just ask to engage with the molecules of that amount of money. Ask to become energetically aware of that money. And realize that that money does not have a point of view as to how it gets to you, how long or how short it will be before it can find you and what you have to do or what it has to do to get to you. So as you become aware of that, you realize that this doesn't have to be a long process. You can just ask for those molecules and ask for that money to start to show up with ease. And what you're going to do now is you are going to start pulling that money towards you inviting that money towards you, asking those molecules to start to interact with the molecules of your being. And at the same time as the being that you are, recognize that when you go to thinking, when you go to worry, when you go to stress, your molecules are not vibrating with the oneness and the consciousness that is truly available to you when you are being you. So at the same time as you inviting in and pulling in the energy of what you are asking for, for that amount of money, raise the vibration of the molecules of your being, feel your body and your heart start to expand, feel your molecules almost fizzing or bubbling like, like the bubbles in champagne. 
feel that vibration start to increase. Feel the recognition of, oh yeah, when I'm really being me, this is what it feels like. When I'm in communion with the space around me, this is what it feels like. When I'm being the creator of my life and my living, this is what it feels like. When I am creating through ask and receive, with the universe, this is what it feels like. And allow all of that, that fizzy energy, all of those bubbles and all of those molecules that are part of your being, that occupy your space around you, to start to increase in vibration. And at the same time, start to mingle and merge with the molecules of the money that you are inviting into your life. And then feel those molecules start to not only interact, but to intermingle and interchange and to swirl around each other and suddenly start to become one. Suddenly there isn't a separation between you and money, you and whatever you are asking for, you and the oneness and consciousness of the universe. You are it and it is part of you. And so this exercise, as much as anything else, is about removing that barrier between who you think you are and who you truly be. And all of the worry and all of the stress and all of the significance of this reality and how hard we make our lives and the joy and the oneness and the adventure that we could be having. So stay expanded as you start to experience that. Stay expanded in your energy. Stay expanded in your body. Stay light in your mind. Don't make this significant. Don't try to analyze it right now. And now with me, start to really pull that money in towards you. And when I say pull, I mean start to really interact with the molecules of money and pretend it's someone you really like. Pretend it's someone you have a crush on. Pretend it's someone really good looking that you've spotted across the room. How would you smile? How would you joyfully interact? How would you use your energy to pull them in towards you rather than repel you, repel them away? So use that ability that you have to attract people to you, to attract things to you, to now attract the money to you. And pull and pull and pull and feel the earth contributing and contributing the energy of it being consciousness and oneness with you, towards you, and feel the contribution of all of the molecules in the universe. And feel the contribution of all of the people doing this challenge. Would you be willing to contribute to everyone else in this challenge making more money than they've ever thought possible? And would you be willing to contribute to me making more money? And would you be willing to receive me contributing to you making more money? And would you be willing to receive the contribution of everyone else on this challenge as you contribute to them so that everyone can make more money, everyone can experience the oneness, everyone can recognize that if one person has more, it does not mean that there is less for another. That more is more is more. And there is always more, and there is more for you, and you just have to be willing to recognize and receive and get out of your own way. So you keep pulling. This pull, once you start it, once you activate it, it doesn't have to necessarily finish. Now that you've pulled in that, those molecules and you have raised the vibration of your molecules, you will feel that expansion and you can keep that expansion going for the rest of the day. This works in a, like I said, it is a gifting and receiving at the same time. It is not simply a pulling and a keeping and a sticking yourself with this energy. It is a pulling and a gifting and a raising of your vibration and meeting the vibration of the molecules that you are interacting with and interacting with the molecules of the money around you 
and asking for the money to show up. Asking for the money that you haven't been willing to see, haven't been willing to receive, haven't been willing to recognize, to not only make itself known to you, but to be inexplicably drawn to you and to show up in your life, to show up in your purse, to show up in your wallet, to show up as new clients, to show up as new opportunities and possibilities and to show up in ways that you cannot even imagine. And would you be willing to allow this to now snowball? So that that doesn't mean that you receive a little bit of money and that's where it finishes, or that's where you say, ah, oh, that's the money that I was pulling in, and then it stops. Would you allow that to snowball and snowball and snowball and get bigger and more and bigger and more and bigger and more? And once you get on that slippery slope of making money, would you be willing to look at it as a downward slope where you are snowballing and you just are making more and more money? You're just picking up more money and you're creating more energetically and you're creating more physically and it gets easier and easier for you to make more money. Money comes to you with ease. You can't help but make more money. No matter what you do, money is coming to you and rolling to you and flowing to you with ease. Would you be willing to change your point of view that instead of money being something hard and difficult to get and something that you are always working uphill against, that money is this easy, slippery slope that is downwards. And once you start sliding or rolling down it, you can't help but gain momentum and make more and make more and make more. Would you be willing to now say, can I have the money now, please? And can I have more than I could have ever imagined with more ease than I could have ever imagined? Who are all of the people and all of the places and all of the possibilities and all of the opportunities that I have never been willing to recognize before? Who are they? Where are they? And pull them in. Interact with them all. Play with them all. Stay expanded. Stay vibrationally compatible with money. Stay vibrationally compatible even if something happens that you didn't plan on happening. Stay vibrationally compatible, even if you don't know how to deal with what you're currently going through. Stay vibrationally compatible, even if you're worried and stressed. How do you do that? You focus on raising your vibration to being who you be, like I've talked about. And you use that place and that space to create your life from. And you be willing to use that as the basis of your reality and who you are and how you create rather than believing the world around you. It might sound crazy, but that's how you create a different world and a different life for yourself. You make what you know and what you believe and what you are aware of on the inside much more valuable and more real than what you can observe on the outside. You refuse to be a victim or at the mercy of circumstance. You refuse to let your life be dictated to you by external sources. You demand to be the creator of your life. You know that money is your birthright. You know that you are of consciousness, you are of spirit, you are of oneness with the universe. You not only deserve money, you come from money. You are money. Would you be willing to find and refamiliarize and come back home to money? And are you willing to do whatever it takes now to have that be your reality? If that feels light to you, you do not have to buy what I say ever. But if that feels light to you, if that feels like who you are and what you came here to experience, then take that as your truth and run with it and make it your reality and make it the truth that you will not only believe on the inside, but you will use that lens to view your world on the outside. And you will see money everywhere and you will attract money everywhere and you will create the life that you are here to create. 
with money, not without money, not with struggle, not at the expense of having the life you really desire. So again, just like the other two exercises, this is an exercise that you can do at any time. You can, if you're feeling funky, if you're feeling low, if you're feeling stressed, sit yourself down somewhere, get your feet grounded on the floor, expand out, raise the vibration of your molecules to meet the molecules of whatever it is that you are asking to attract or to pull in and pull and mingle and interact. And just stay relaxed in your body. Take a nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Relax. Open your eyes if they were closed. Feel your feet on the floor. Recognize that you still feel expanded. You're still present in your body. You can now go about your day and do whatever it is that you need to do. But you do that with the interaction of the molecules that you wish to engage and interact with. And you can use this to help shape any experience that you are having or any experience that you wish to have or anything that you wish to invite into your life. Okay, so that is a wrap for today's exercise. I hope you enjoyed that one. It is a really nice, peaceful, grounding exercise for you to use whenever you, you wish to. If you have questions, if you have comments, if you have feedback, if you have queries, post them into the group. I am highly available and interactive in this group over the five day challenge. And I look forward to hearing from many of you. And thank you to all of you that have already um, been interacting with me. And I will see you here tomorrow, same time, same place. Take care.